I first started watching South Park at the second airing of the first episode when I was but a wee lad. Used to be South Park would be on Wednesdays and Saturdays. The first Saturday airing, I watched it. It made me laugh many times over the years, and it's made the libs furious many times over the years, so we will now examine the most triggering scenes from South Park. This is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Go to expressvpn.com. More from them in a second. First now, Matt and Trey, take it away. You're so full of crap, Foley. What? I did shoot him in the face. Twice. <laughs> Ex- excuse me? My name is Brad, and I-, I need to report a crime. Anonymously. Oh? What's the crime? Well, I attend South Park Elementary, and, and one of the teachers is having sex with a student. Oh, my God! I remember this one. You, you did the right thing telling the police, Brad. Now, who is the teacher? What's his name? Well, it isn't a guy teacher. It's a woman. A woman? Yeah, she's having sex with a boy. Oh, but but she's ugly, right? Well, no, not really. It's the kindergarten teacher, Miss Stevenson. The blonde? Yeah. Some young boys having sex with Miss Stevenson? Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. What? No, you don't understand it. You sure they've had sex? Yeah. Has she performed oral sex on him? I think so. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. So wait, what, what's the crime? The crime is she isn't doing it with me. <laughs> hey, he's totally underage. She's taking advantage of him. You're right. We're sorry. This is serious. We need to track this student down and give him his luckiest boy in America medal right away. <laughs> <laughs> this story comes up every six months. Some super good-looking female teacher sleeps with some usually teenage boy. That's bad, and it's an abuse of power, and they should be prosecuted. I'm not saying otherwise. But then there's that reaction, which is, how dare you suggest that this is any different from a male teacher doing something like this with a female student who's a teenager? And you think, well, no, it, it's different, right? I'm not saying it's excusable or good in any way, but boys and girls are different, right? Boys and girls react differently and have different experiences, especially of sex. And so, it, like, it, it is different, right? The allegations against me are true. Over the past several weeks, I have been having physical relations with one of my students. Nice. (laughs) Nice. Alcohol is a crutch, which we use to medicate ourselves, to to cover up emotional baggage from our past. Was there ever a history of sexual abuse in your family? No, but my uncle used to ask me and my twin sister to kiss, and he'd take pictures. Nice. <laughs> okay, yeah, there, there it is. That's sort of the, yeah, it is, that is bad. And you do see that reaction. Well, it is always that reaction. You're like, no, where were these teachers when I was in school? But uh, the thing is, to quote the great late philosopher Norm MacDonald, sex is a filthy, shameful thing that's obviously only meant for procreation. No, no, let, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves here. And so when you divorce sex from its proper use and purpose, Uh, things get very bad, even if the teacher is super hot and even if the student is a man. When you want to protect your data, you've got to go to expressvpn.com slash MichaelYT. As you know, there are a lot of people who want to look at what you are doing online. The government, the ISPs, the big tech companies, they all are digging into your stuff. And so you should use the number one rated VPN on the market, ExpressVPN. Head on over there right now. We've got all sorts of great deals and promos if you are a listener and a viewer of this show. Do not wait. You gotta go immediately over to ExpressVPN slash Michael, letter Y, letter T. That is expressvpn.com slash Michael Y T today. On a cold October night, A small town in Colorado stood up to New Jersey and finally said, go away. Our fortitude was the inspiration for others. And now, New Jersey is slowly receding back to the desolate land from whence it came. Our country is getting back to normal. And we owe it all to Osama bin Laden. (laughs) On this day, let us all remember that no people on this earth are really enemies. Only folks with differences. <laughs> Tango's down, Tango's down. We got him! <laughs> I remember in 2001, when South Park came back after 9-11, everyone was kind of nervous about their 9-11 episode. Because how do you handle 
dealing with, I guess, the greatest American tragedy ever to occur. They handled it so beautifully because they turned it into a Bugs Bunny kind of thing. And really, these are very sharp guys. These are guys who have been aware of politics and extremely artistically adept for a very long time. In fact, one of the early Trey Parker and Matt Stone projects before South Park was a movie with Larry Elder and Dennis Prager. What if by magic I could suddenly have black skin? And I believe Officer Barbrady actually is based on Dennis Prager. I think Matt Stone once said that. Oh, PC principal, how are you today? What are you doing in the faculty bathroom? You know, I think you and I got off on the wrong foot the other day. By all means, please keep your dick out. You see, (laughs) I'm not going to accept four days of detention and... You're going to apologize publicly for being so strict to me and my friends at Ski. What the f*** are you talking about? Just a request, that's all. See you around. Oh, you seem to have dropped something, PC Principal. What's this? Why, this is a little boy's underwear. Why, this is Butter's underwear. What? PC Principal, you have Butter's underwear and now... Oh my gosh, it's got your DNA all over it. This certainly doesn't look good for you. I don't need to tell anyone about this. No, I think we have an understanding. Capiche? What did you just say? You mean about keeping your dick out? Capiche? You're associating Italian Americans to intimidation tactics? You better watch your microaggressions, bro. Okay, look, you don't want to end up like the spokesman for Subway, do you? Did you just use a term that excludes women from an occupation? Okay, let's back up. Ah! Did you just say spokesman instead of spokesperson when women are just as capable of selling sandwiches as anyone? Are you purposely trying to use words that assert your male privilege? No, I'm sorry. I was just trying to frame you for raping butters. Do you think Italian Americans and women are less important? Oh, God. You dare to use words that alienate two communities of people who have to deal with verbal biases like yours on a daily basis? That's what it's like. It do be like that. It, it do. Some people don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. And let's not forget Excuse me, everyone. Hello, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? We got results from the PNR scan of Dr. McCormick's remains, and we now know the cause of his death. Now, we all need to stay calm. There is no reason to panic. But Kenny died of COVID. It's a new variant. The COVID Delta Plus Rewards Program variant. I don't watch South Park that much anymore because I don't watch much TV because I don't pay for cable or anything like that. But so I actually, I don't think I saw this entire season and I am kind of getting a kick out of Cartman being what appears to be a rabbi of some sort or is he a, no, I guess not. They're in a church. So he's some kind of pastor. It was confusing because the the Cartman hat kind of looked like a yarmulke. Everyone, please, we cannot panic. COVID was obviously invented by toilet paper companies to sell more toilet paper. This whole thing, all of this, it's all about me. Yeah, that's funny. It's not, you know, I like that they came on the right side of COVID all being really ridiculous. The early seasons of South Park, I sound like a guy talking about his hipster band that he loves. You know, the early stuff, man, before everyone got into it. That was the really good stuff. Okay, next one. Stanley, well, do you want to tell your father about what happened at school today? Um, oh, oh, I flunked my math quiz. No, the other thing. What other thing? What happened at school today? Oh, the school shooting? Yes, the school shooting! Oh, yeah, some kid shot up the school. (laughs) <laughs> Who shot up the school? Was it you? No. Did you get shot? No. Oh. Well, what's this about failing a math quiz? <laughs> Are you serious? Did you not hear what your child said? Kids died at his school. I'm sorry, Sharon. I... Why are you all acting like this is normal? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> this is dark, but that's a pretty good bit. This is just the reaction. Was it you? No. Were you shot? No. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. It, it sadly has, has become normal. I don't think I'd seen that one. I'm, I'm realizing, thankfully, because my very young producer is choosing all the clips, it's all these new ones that I haven't seen. It's a great show. Little, a little uh, vulgar with the language. That's not ideal. But they, those guys, they get, they get a fair bit. They get more right than they get wrong. All right, that's the show. See you next time. Screaming!